Is this the big announcement that you and Ray are getting married? She didn't even like me like that, chat. She just plays with you guys. I needed a break. I'm not gonna lie. I was losing my goddamn mind. But I'm coming back. Today's the first day of March, chat. And you know what that means. It means I don't I don't have any money because I just got paid from, from, from Twitch subscriptions. So this month, oh chat, this month we finna have some we finna have some fun this month. Chat, about a year ago, I made a video asking asking me, asking you, asking the community, could I reach level 99 in the first palace of Persona 5 Royal? We didn't know at the time. But it'd be the biggest thing to ever happen in the Persona 5 community since Burn My Bread. This month, this month we will reach level 99 in the first palace. And not only that, oh, we have some incentives today. Oh, we have some incentives, chat. I am going to give you a reason to stick around. Because not only are we going to be doing level 99 in the first palace, we will also be doing Dark Souls, Pokemon Runs, Darkest Dungeon, and I think maybe even a couple other surprises if you're willing to listen, chat. All of this month, you, yes, you, the viewer right in front of us right now, have the opportunity to grace us with some blessed incentives. So listen to this. If we get back to a thousand subs this month, chat, I will put on that Garfield costume and we will play Garfield Kart with the chat for an entire stream. But I'm not done yet. If we get 1,250 subs, I'll shave my fucking head. Bald, all the way down, buzz cut military style. We're talking army grunts here. 1,500 subs? We'll say fuck the shave in my head. I'll dye it, whatever color you guys want. Yeah, that's right. You want to see me look like you, Narukami, and dye it silver? Go ahead. Want to see me be pink and dye it pink? I'll rock it. I don't care. I'll look good as a Barbie girl. I don't give a fuck. All right, but if chat, if, 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 we get 2,000 subs by the end of March, I, and maybe a couple of my friends, I don't know, will do a live anime drinking game recording, face cam and all, with the anime of maybe your choosing. That's right. All month, I will be grinding my ass off to get every single one of these levels done, and you have the opportunity to do some absolute crazy shit. Oh, but we're not done yet, because YouTube, we see you there. I see you, the chat sees you. Look at them in the chat, they're going crazy. YouTube frogs, this is your opportunity to make an impact on the chat as well, on my stream, because if, you get 3,000 likes on every single video that I post this month. Just 3,000, it's, you know, it's a little bit crazy, but it's nothing too crazy. If you get 3,000 uh, 3, likes on every single video, and I will do a Joker only, arson only, risky difficulty run, scripted Persona 5 Strikers Challenge run. The month of March is the month of Tevin. This is my month. And I'm dedicated to doing absolutely every one of these things. It's dependent on you, chat. It's dependent on me. And it's dependent on the YouTube motherfucking frogs. Chat, I hope you guys are exci as excited as I am. Because it's going to be a very big month. Now, Tevin. What if you don't make it to level 99? Right? You still have... You still have 200 hours of work to do on top of the Garfield, on top of the Dark Souls, on top of the Pokemon, on top of Reddit recaps, on top of everything. Well, let me tell you this, chat. I don't create incentives without some punishments if I fail. So, if I don't <laughs> reach level 99 by the end of the month, not only will I still do a different challenge run for the YouTube Frogs, a much harder one that I don't want to do. Not only will I do a 24 hour stream on the channel, not only will it be in the maid outfit, but I will buy a 12 pack of Dr. Pepper cream soda, buy some asparagus and have a full meal on this stream 
if I fail. I don't want to do that. I, I, as a matter of fact, that's like the probably the worst thing I could think of for myself. But that's how committed I am to reaching level 99 this month. I will not lose. Now, there are some stipulations. Let's clear something out of the way first. I will be grinding off stream. There will definitely be. You're gonna die. Even if I fail, if you guys get the 2000, I'll still do the 24 hour and I'll still do all that stuff. On top of that, I think if we finish early, because there's a chance that I finish early on the 99 stuff, because I am a grinder. Um, if I reach level 99 early, we might do some charity stuff. I really want to get into a charity. Yeah, we have 672 subs. So you guys got your work cut out for you. That's 1,300 subs. But I will be grinding a lot. Today, or this month is Women's Appreciation Month. So we'll, we'll probably do some charity work for uh, some good women's causes. Yes, if I say I'm going to do something chat i assure you it will get done if i want it done the month of tevin has begun we will be streaming at least 120 hours i had 85 hours last month that's not good enough 120 hours minimum and i also want to do this chat you guys help me out with this as we transition screens if we i want to do some daily sub stuff to where if you guys get like 50 gifted or 100 gifted in a day, then I'll do something else too. We'll figure it out. Freestyle about this month? <clears throat> Listen, chat. Today's your lucky month like seven. Because all this month, all you're going to see is Tevin. I'm about to go sickle mode. I'm so crazy like Drake when he's playing like, or when he was playing with Ninja Tyler Blevins level 99 yeah that's the goal i'm on it speeding so fast it's my world like sonic 06 damn i'm so sick you better not have your girl in the stream because now she's my bitch <laughs> this month oh i'm popping off silly the chump's about to get down it's real nitty gritty i appreciate every motherfucking sub and every fucking hour i'm gonna be counting them bitty i'm witty i'm a little slick with it and youtube frogs well, we don't talk about y'all. Did Toast ever reach out? No! Hey! You know what makes me so mad, chat? Okay, hold on. Pause the music again. I'm pissed off. I'm glad you brought that up. Man, this makes me so mad. Okay, so chat, if you guys don't know, first of all, follow me on Twitter, at YourBudTevin. First of all, we need to get to 10,000 followers on Twitter, too. I don't know what's going on with that. Disguise Toast, man. He was like, hey, let's blow somebody up off of Among Us that's a small streamer. And I was like, everybody tag me in this because I want to play with Toast. And so we went crazy, bro. I think I got like 200 mentions. Literally no bullshit. No bullshit. Two, I got like 200 mentions. So then I looked again and I was like, n literally no, literally nobody has even anywhere near close as many mentions as I do. Like nobody has as mentions as I do. But because Ross, Rubber Ross or Rubber Ninja Ross and Alpha Rad tagged some other people in it, I was, I was done for. I had no chance, bro. I literally had no chance because as soon as you get the vouch from the big people, you fuck. I'm fucked. I got no big connections, so I was fucked. Keep they can't keep away getting away with it. I keep losing. It's pissing me off because I can't. I can't. I can't beat. I can't beat bigger people. Can't help you with that anymore. I don't got Twitter anymore. Too toxic, man. The crazy thing is, so many people talk about their toxic experiences with Twitter, but Twitter is literally my favorite place on earth because all i do is follow shit post accounts and memes who won i don't know it ain't me it should have been me not him hip-hop twitter is full of losers i don't follow hype beasts dream smp twitter is worse than the mall what are y'all doing following minecraft twitter bro persona twitter I, they're part of anime twitter and they're terrible can we get a quick level check 69 almost 70. not nah, at the moment uh attack on titan twitter is literally the worst it's literally the worst Smash Twitter is probably the worst. Smash Twitter ain't exactly good either. Black Twitter is great. Black Twitter is the GOAT. What's your favorite thing about streaming with us as a community? You guys pick up quick. Like even the people that like came here as Persona 5 stands and even like people who d don't really know about my culture with like uh, b like being half black and like my culture with being black, you guys picked it up really quick. And that's mainly because there's a lot, like a lot of my chat, especially on days like this where we're just chilling, it's a lot of like light skins and uh, black people, which is fucking dope. What about white Arabs? Shout out to the white Arabs. <laughs> 
Shout out to my Arab community. Yeah, SD, thanks so much for the tier one two. Harry Nugget. Harry Nugget. Chat, ima imagine if your favorite food was Harry. Ah! Kiwi is Harry though. Yeah, but you don't eat the Harry part. Chat, my, <laughs> I was gonna say, my favorite food's pussy, so it don't matter, it's Harry anyway. <laughs> uh, sorry, chat. I know, I know chat's about to be like, huh? Here in a second, watch, here it comes. Harry spaghetti? I was thinking like Harry steak. You know what I'm saying? Where it has like the hair follicles coming out of it. And it's like, Ugh! Chat, as long as Austin the gamer's in here, I can't, I'm not gonna go full horny. Cause that's my, that's my, that's my little, that's my nephew. And he's like 12. Austin's your nephew? No, Austin's not my actual nephew. That's just something that black people say. Oh my God. Oh my God, Rare. Nephew just means like, that's like your, that's like your, that's like your young one. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything worse than a doc, than Dr. Pepper? Probably genocide, probably. Austin said, it's okay, Tev. <laughs> Tevin, I gotta say, I gotta be honest with you. I fucking love your streams, bro. For real, you're the realest streamer I watch and so fucking refreshing and entertaining. I just watch, okay. wish I had more time to be part of the squad. Anytime I get to pop in and say, what's up, I do. She's just real for me right now, but I had to say, man, cheers. Jaren, can everybody just send some love to Jaren real quick? Thank you for the very nice words. It's nice to have a community of people that, that fucks with my content. That fucks with me as just a regular day you with person. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all chat. I get I'm I feel very lonely and ostracized from you guys a lot. Because and I was talking to I was talking to uh like more private Discord. But when you are the content creator, it's hard to it's hard to be friends with people because you are the common point to which like I know you through me, right? I know you guys through me. We don't we don't have mutual interests. Like some of some of it we do, but the main thing that ties you, the chat, together to me is my shit, which is weird. So when you guys say stuff like that, that like you guys enjoy uh, my stuff, if it is, it's cool. It makes me feel less like stressed out. Stephen, if you were actually, if you were to actually make a funny persona meme or SMT meme, could you make up one on the spot? I actually did do that, but no one fucked with the meme, so they, so it just didn't work out. But honestly, no, it's really hard to make persona memes. This game is stale as fuck. I don't know what it is about it, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is about this game. I think it's, I think to me, listen, I've said it a million billion times. I, you guys do not see this game the same way that I see it. And you never will. You literally never will until you play it as often as I have. To me, everything in this game is like predetermined. It's like I it's like it's like I've been married to this game for 40 years. So like all the things you could ever enjoy about this game, I've seen it to the point where I'm like so fucking what? So fucking what? Like when I see people talk about Haru getting screen time, to me that means like literally nothing because I've seen Haru about a year's worth of time. I'm literally just like, I've seen it all. I've done it all. So it's hard for anybody to like make me care about this game any more or any less at the same time. Chad, if you had a, if you had a special move in wrestling, what would yours be called? And what is it? Like explain it. Cause because growing up, <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to have a special move. As a kid, I think I was like five when I came up with this. I used to watch a lot of wrestling, and I came up with this move, and it was called the duty. <laughs> oh, it was called the duty. I don't know where we came up with that, but we called it the duty. And what I would do, <laughs> what I do, is I'd knock them down, I'd like push them or whatever until they were on their on their stomach and they're laying on their stomach and then I'd run full speed and then I jump <laughs> I would jump and I would like spread my legs open like this like all the way out like this my legs out and I would literally slam my bony ass into their spine and break their spine bro and I would do it over and over again and that shit was so like it would it would murder people I'll tell you that fuck around me and get hit with the duty bitch <laughs> I cannot remember how we called it that, but I, I promise you if I texted my sister right now and I, I asked her, I was like, what's the duty? She'd be like, that's when you jumped, that's when you jumped on people's backs 
with your ass. Chat, I don't think you guys know what I mean though. I would I would run and then I would jump on them and like slam on them, but that wasn't the end of it. I would grab them by the shoulders afterwards because they'd be like, ah, and then I would just do it over and over again. I would literally go like, I would literally be like, <laughs> like over and over again. Why was I so violent? I was so small I couldn't do any damage, so I had to like, I had to go full force, you feel me? Niggas had to catch the duty, I don't know what to tell you. You trying to kill your enemies? Hey, they shouldn't have known better. They know I had the duty in me. <laughs> Nobody cared who I was till I socked them with the duty. <laughs> Chat, y'all wanna, y'all wanna step by step guide on how to do the duty? Here you go, I'm gonna show you. This is my bed. Imagine somebody's laying down like this, like this. You have to get them into this position. This is the duty position, right? And so what I would do is I would run full speed like this and I would jump and I would land on their, like I would land on their spine like this, bow! And I would lean up like this so my, so my bone, like my ass bone, would literally like slam into their back. <laughs> Slam into their back. And then what you do, real quickly before they figure out what's going on, you get up and you grab them by the shoulders. Like you finna ride them like a horse. Yeehaw. And then you just go, bow, bow. 